it's a mosh pit. Yeah, shout it bad, but she broke and she don't own shit. Mama asked me. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't have any makeup on, which is weird. Normally, this is the time where all of my really pretty slow-mos go. It's so overrated, but I love it anyway. So, I need to catch you guys up on some things. I've been getting a lot of questions and whatnot about things that I'll be going over in today's video. So, I think I'll be doing a talk-through, chit-chat, whatever you want to call it, makeup, get ready with me. Why am I a beauty guru? I think this is my first sit-down in talk through get ready with me thing I, i'm not going through this again okay i don't know okay just i'm gonna be talking about certain things that a lot of you guys have been asking me about so with that being said let's just go ahead and get started i think i'm just gonna start with my brows lately i just been you know doing a really simple routine as always but right now i'm just spooling out my eyebrows they're not arched or anything i've been growing them out and i think they're looking better but honestly they're just i think i just need to face the fact that my eyebrows will never look like some of these people's so i've drawn on my brows and now i'm going to conceal them so what i'm going to use is basically this contour palette from Pro Artiste. I have a brow tutorial already, so I'm basically just repeating all of that. So one of the things that I did want to talk about with you guys was, you know, why I haven't been uploading as much as I used to. The main thing, the main reason why I have stopped uploading, you know, two, three times a week is literally because I've gotten a job and basically I don't really just have a thousand you know days on my hands to film and edit and all of that so i literally it's literally my my first day off and i'm filming and that's just how much dedication i have but yeah i've been working at zaxby's it is a fast food restaurant and i mean you know it's my first job so a lot of people have been like like it wasn't what i thought it would be because people make fast food restaurants out to be so horrible you know working the job I guess cuz I'm not the one cooking I'm a cashier and whatnot but you know there's still plenty of things that I have to do like you know clean up and all that it's not horrible it's not what people make it seem like but I am getting that money so you know that's what it's all about not YouTube but um, my job <laughs> oh my gosh it looks like I'm naked I have on clothes guys I've been working there for about two weeks now and it's pretty cool I guess you know, I thought it was going to be weird because it was my first job and, you know, I was the new chick, but, you know, everyone was, you know, pretty welcoming, as welcoming as you can be at work, I guess. There are a few people that give me weird vibes and I just, you know, I try to stay away from them because I don't want to indulge in that negativity and stuff. I don't got time. It's work. It's not time for drama. It's time to get that money. That's what I'm there for going to prime my lids with the fit me concealer from Maybelline of course it's literally what I go to all the time but yeah it's pretty cool I guess a lot of you guys have been asking me about that like how I deal with drama and negativity and stuff because I do get those comments and stuff about you know people just not liking what I put out for you guys and honestly I just don't care <laughs> I feel like, you know, being able to take all the negativity and stuff is a part of being a YouTuber because I'm kind of just used to, you know, hate and stuff like that because, I don't know, i never been bullied or anything, but like, you always just encounter those type of things in life and you just gotta get past them because it's not worth you know you stooping down to their level trying to tell the next person like prove yourself to the next person i just don't see that because the people who are saying those things are most likely miserable with them, their lives and themselves it's just what it is like i know that i'm fine happy in life i'm not gonna go on somebody's page just to spread you know negativity when there's no reason it comes from everybody all over the place I'm gonna use some banana powder to set my lids but yeah it just comes from all over the place and there's really nothing that you can do but just stand up to them 
you don't necessarily have to say anything you standing up to them could be you just being successful so i would never just sit up and have fun by literally talking or picking on the next person like that's just retarded to me that's a waste of time for one and a waste of breath like i'd rather talk about myself <laughs> I'm not conceited or anything. I'm just, you know, I know that I'm doing something in life and I'm gonna go somewhere. I feel like it's okay to just know that you're gonna do something big in life because that's just, if you don't believe yourself, then who else is gonna believe you? Like you have to be your own number one fan. I'm using this Irresistible Palette by Beauty Creations. It's basically, it has the same colors as the Modern Renaissance. It has the same names and everything. So I'm going to be saying these colors. Just know that it's basically a dupe. I'm, I don't have the real palette. It's just this. I'm using this Venetian Red color. But yeah, guys, I feel like haters are everywhere. And, you know, it's hard to, you know, get away from them. Because no matter what you do or where you are, there's always somebody knocking on your door trying to put you down take you down with them because they have nothing better to do and i just feel like that's that's just sad <laughs> because i've been through i've been through situations like that like this year i you guys know i'm a girly girl and i love dressing up i love wearing dresses heels i literally have like two pairs of tennis shoes like at work i have to wear boots because i don't have any black tennis shoes like what <laughs> i mean i wear heels and boots literally like every day well boots in the winter and heels in the summer and every other <laughs> every other um season so i know this year i would dress up for school you know i love dressing up for school and I don't know I just I'm a girly girl like you couldn't tell me nothing okay I was in school looking like it's a fashion show and you know all my friends they're like oh my gosh girl you know all type of positivity you're so cute where did you get this where'd you get that and then there was always those miserable girls and guys who would just why does she have that on she looking like she finna you know like i remember in the hallway some girl tried to trip me and you know me i know how to walk in heels you can try to trip me if you want to i'm not gonna fall like so it was just a laugh and a kick in the face to her because like it didn't work sis like i'm still standing here looking cute and you i turn around and i'm like why'd you do that and she's like Oh my bad, it was an accident. Girl boo, it was not no accident. I'm gonna go in with Love Letter um, right in my crease to deepen it up with a more stiff brush. She made a fool out of herself trying to trip me because like I didn't fall, I was fine. Like, And it turned back on you because now you just look like a jerk in front of everybody. And it'll come back and get her one day. Maybe not today, maybe not for me, but it'll come back and get her. Because, like, it was just, you know, it was always somebody saying something, even the teachers. Like, one day I was late, you know, because, I don't know, I don't remember why I was late that day, but I was late. And I came into the uh, hallway, I was walking to class, and these two, like, it was one guy, and then there was one lady, and they were teachers. And I'm walking by, and he's like, oh, where are you going? This ain't a fashion show, this is school. Like, just because you look like a bum today doesn't mean I have to. I want to dress cute. That's what I'm going to do. Like, you can't tell me what I can and can't wear. Like, that's just... I was mad. Like, I hate when teachers do that. Like, don't tell me that this ain't that. Like, it is that. And I'm going to wear what I want to wear. Like, you're not going to tell me. No. I was mad. I'm going to go in with Cypress Umber um, to darken my outer V. But yeah, I was mad because like, who are you to tell me? If y'all could have seen me, y'all would know. Like, I hate when teachers always have something to say about, like, it's not my fault you can't wear what I'm wearing. Like, like you choose to dress like that and I choose to dress like this. I don't say anything about the way others dress, but they find it like 
fascinating to talk about how I dress. I'm very confident in what I wear, so it's not my fault that you're, you know, not confident. In um, eighth grade, I remember I went to this school and these I literally had no friends. Like these girls, they did not like me and I'm just like, you know, whatever, it's a new school, I don't care. You know, I just didn't care. I mean, I didn't come to be friends with you. I came just so I can get my education too. I'm taking some concealer to cut. <laughs> get out. I am cutting my crease with this um, Maybelline concealer. I'm gonna set that with some um, banana powder. It was retarded. But yeah, um, going along with that, I remember she didn't expect me to have any friends at my new school. But at this school, I knew everybody. Like, I've been knowing them since like sixth grade. So I'm pretty much cool with everybody. And she would just take it upon herself to just write negative comments on pictures of me and my friends. She'd be like, oh my gosh, Moravia has had those shoes since like sixth grade blah 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 and I just be like why does it matter like I don't know what shoes she wears every day like I don't know that stuff because I don't pay attention to her like that and the fact that she knows all of that just shows that she was worried about me way entirely too much but you know that's what haters do they they worry about you more than you worry about yourself and if that's what they're doing then you're doing something right just know that and it's just it's not worth it it's not, I remember having to change schools because of altercations and stuff, and it's just not worth it. You can just let them hate from wherever they're at while you go on and do whatever you do. Because at the end of the day, they're going to be the ones staying in the same city, same place, same everything. So they're not going to be doing anything new with their lives. You're going to be traveling, doing big things that's how I feel I mean I got a job I got a YouTube channel I got lots of supporters like and they don't have none of that I'm gonna be using this LA colors shimmering loose powder it's pink to go with this look and I'm excited because I haven't used this in such a long time so what you have to do is like tap it into there so some of the powder will come out as you can see I'm gonna take this brush and place it onto the parts where I have my cut crease. Another thing a lot of people have been asking me about is fake friends. And honestly, I have a lot of experience with them. I feel like you should know whether a friend is fake or not because of how they treat you. I know when I was younger, I just kind of never noticed it because I just was in that phase of thinking everyone was my friend and you know she maybe she likes her better than me I don't know but a true friend would never treat you you know less than the next friend my camera did die sadly and you know I finished putting the glitter on my lids or whatever so now I'm gonna be doing my eyeliner I'm gonna be using the wet n wild liquid eyeliner this is literally the best stuff I don't know I just really if you don't have this uh, you don't know what you're missing out on I am pretty much done with the eyes and I'm just going to get into my face. I'm using the 24 hour infallible Plo, 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 oh my gosh, Pro Glow and this is in the color 211. I forgot to put on primer. So I'm going to be country and put it on in the middle of my foundation. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. mineral Infru infused primer. Gosh, I cannot talk today. Like right under my eyes, on my nose. Oh lord and like right on the sides of my mouth and on my cubes butt area because those are the places where it counts <laughs> i'm done blending out everything so now i'm just going to conceal with this same maybelline fit me concealer which is literally my favorite thing everyone compares it to the nars creamy concealer but i've never tried it because mainly 
look at what I wear, drugstore makeup. Does it look like I can afford NARS right now? No. My dog is literally over here hovering over my makeup. Like, does it look like I want dog hairs all on my makeup? No, because I don't. If I'm honest, like, I never plan out any of this stuff. I just do it as I go. A lot of people, you know, ask me, they ask me, does YouTube is like, is it weird going out in public and stuff? And I'm like, not like, not like, like famous type thing. Like, like if I'm going to school and people at school know that um, I'm doing YouTube and honestly, it's not weird for me. It's a whole lot of that judging thing that I was talking about earlier. I'm going to use the um, black opal true color foundation as my contour shade. And they think that since I'm doing YouTube that um i think i'm all that or i think i'm this then the other and i just don't understand that because most times i just do youtube honestly because i like making videos and editing videos not because i think i'm all that like i want to show off my makeup skills and stuff like that because honestly where i'm at a lot of the girls who actually do makeup they're popular and blah 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 and I mean I'm not saying I'm not just any type of popular I mean I have friends I know a lot of people but am I one of the girls who are just you know oh my gosh maybe no I'm not <laughs> but you know it's fine with me I mean I don't care <laughs> popularity is just it don't make sense to me a lot of these people who are popular are weird like if you watch my TMI tag I talked about why I started YouTube and all that Plus the support that I get from you guys, it's kind of, YouTube is like an exit from like the real world where I can just come on here, film something and be in a whole nother world, like with people I don't know, you know, talk to some of you guys. It's fun, honestly, so yeah. When I first started, people made fun of me all the time and I mean... I don't care. I'm gonna set my face with this banana powder and yes it's in like a Tupperware thing because don't judge me but like honestly that thing that it comes in is horrible like I don't see how people use it like to get the powder out without being messy all the time <laughs> like I just can't and I'm not gonna bake I'm just gonna pat it into my face baking is just it's not for me like it's not it makes my skin look weird and it's not the powder don't say it's the powder I just don't like how it looks on me like banana powder is really good but baking is just mm -mm. I'm straight I'm good oh I'm so glad it's summertime I mean it, I say it's summertime but honestly I'm working every day so it's like oh my god it's school all over again but it's cool because sometimes I work like four hours and the next day I work six or seven so you never know um i'm going to put some more color into my face by using the fit me powder this is a face powder it's literally just a foundation but i just go over my foundation with it because i feel like it you know gives me a little bit more color without making me look powdery lately i haven't even been using like a contour thingy I just use a series of eyeshadows. <laughs> All these little browns right here. And normally I just swoop my brush along that aisle and use that as my contour. <laughs> but it works pretty good as you can see. Just like the perfect color. So for blush, I'm going to be going in my Coastal Scents palette. I literally cannot talk today. I don't know what's up. And I'm going to use this color right here. It looks light, but it's pink on me. And I do love blush. I feel like it completes any look, honestly. Like, if you see me without blush, it's literally... I don't think you'll ever see me without blush unless I don't have makeup on. I have gotten a new highlighter. I love it. It is the new Wet n Wild um, highlighting powders powders this is crown of my canopy I'm just gonna dip my brush in here and i'm gonna highlight my nose of course my cupid's bow this highlighter is literally everything like 
for my lips i really want to use this revlon ultra hd matte lip color i literally am the slowest person when it comes to lipstick like everyone on youtube does like one swipe and it's over and i'm like how I'm going to use this NYX Liquid Suede. I feel like this looks bomb. Now just a little bit more of my Mario Badescu. Or a lot of it more. For my lashes, I'm going to use some of this number 7 Exceptional Definition Nutrient Enriched Mascara. So guys, I think this completes the look. This is my take on like a pretty and pink summer look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because I'm almost at 8,000. Like I'm so excited.